Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the Twitter automation features uh, which have uh, been released and are now ready to be used. Okay, first step is to add a Twitter account. Very simple to do that. You click here to add it, name it main Twitter, click add, click here, okay, proceed. And it's going to be just like you've done before with other applications where you just authorize uh, Twitter to connect, uh, you authorize Sendio to connect to your Twitter account. I'm already logged in, so all I have to do is click authorize app, and it's gonna redirect me back to the app. I can uh, change the name if I want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save, and now this has been activated. From that point, it's uh, pretty much the same as the Facebook automation features. Uh, so you can add a welcome message anytime someone sends you a message. Okay, you can write, hey, thanks for the message. I'll get back to you here in a few minutes. Click save. So now anytime someone, all right, well, you can see here, showed up a warning message, unable to save welcome message, you must follow, uh, you must allow direct messages to everyone in your account settings, okay? Uh, so to get to that, uh, and I'm going to have the developer add a link here that takes you to that section in your Twitter account. Uh, but pretty much you come over here to Twitter, you come to more, click on settings and privacy, click on privacy and setting and safety. You can see here direct messages and you can see here it says receive messages from anyone. Okay, click that on and now we are good to go. Uh, should auto save as soon as I click on that. So from there, we go back uh, to Sendio. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and write this message again. Uh, thank you for the message. I'll be back with you shortly. I'm gonna click save. And now the welcome message was successfully saved. So uh, that's great that that showed up so that you can see uh, that error if it does show up for you and how to fix that okay so now my welcome message is set from there I can come here and add a new broadcast for this particular account and you'll see that it's exactly uh, as it is with Facebook all right you'll see here you name your campaign so Twitter broadcast you select your Twitter account you add the message that you want you add the files to upload. If you want to send an image, PDF, or audio file, you can add that. You can run it immediately or schedule for the future. Once you do that, you click add, and now that broadcast uh, has been set up to be sent to your Twitter subscribers, okay? Uh, same with sequences. It's very similar to the Facebook one, okay? And it's very similar to regular broadcasts as well. So you name the sequence. You select the Twitter accounts that you want the sequence to begin for. You add your content. You add the fi the files that you want to add. And remember, it could be uh, uh, image files, uh, audio files, PDF files, whatever you'd like here. Uh, and from here, you can choose whether you want it to be by day or by hour. Uh, you can choose from there how many hours or how many days in between you want the messages to be sent. And then you can even choose which days of the week you want it to be sent and which hours of the week you want it to be sent on those specific days okay so uh, you can click this message here to add another message obviously i haven't added anything to this first message up here but if i just add something real quick click add another message the second message has popped up okay so that's how simple it is to come in here and add Twitter accounts and use the welcome message, the broadcast, and the sequences. So thank you guys for watching this video.